In today's video, I'm going to show you how we install this shade cell. So here I'm unboxing the shade cell I purchased from Amazon and I will make sure to include that link in the description box below. A few years back, we built a casita on our backyard. The casita has its own little patio. However, I don't think that is very pleasant just to, due to the fact that there is no shade. This is why I decided to get this shade cell. Here is the shade. I ordered mine in a gray color. And I'm going to try to get a close up of the fabric. And just by seeing it, it looks like a very good material. Feels strong, yet light and breathable. This material is called polyethylene fabric. This shade comes with these plastic ropes. Now I did order my own wire rope in hardware from Amazon. It has steel D-rings hooks on each corner. Oh, and it also comes with the instructions. The instruction does recommend to install two corners higher than the other two. So this is the hardware I used to install this shade. I got this from Amazon and it was about $15. And it comes with eight crimping loops, four wire ropes, timbles, four wire eye straps, 50 feet of coated steel wire rope, and two turnbuckles. Here, we're setting it on the floor before installing it. This shade comes in two shapes, a triangle and rectangle shape. And this one, it's an 8x10. Now, the sides do curve in, and I believe they do that to prevent the sides from sagging. So we first started by drilling a hole and inserting one of the wire eye straps. Then we repeated the process on the other side. We didn't add any wire rope since on this side we wanted the shade to be as close as possible to the casita. So now on the other side of the shade we are planning to use the wire rope. But before we use the wire rope, we are going to use the plastic rope that the shade came with just to make sure that the hooks are placed correctly. Then we repeated the process on the other side. Once that the shade has a good stretch and it's positioned correctly, now we can go ahead and switch the plastic ropes with the wire ropes. We first started by cutting a piece of the wire rope. Then we took a wire rope timble and hooked it onto the wire eye strap, just like this. Then we took a crimping loop. We inserted the rope through one side, took the rope in through the hook and brought it down into the other side of the crimping loop. When pulling the rope, we want to make sure that the actual rope is sitting on the wire rope timble, just like this. Then we took some electrical crimpers, the one with the tooth, and we use this to crimp the crimping loops. Here we're taking one of the wire rope timbles and we're hooking it onto one of the turnbuckles. Then we inserted the rope through another crimping loop, went in through the turnbuckles hook, and back into the crimping loop. Then we hooked on the shade. We adjusted the rope to stretch the shade. Then we went ahead and crimped the loops. And cut the excess wire rope. I can hear it, I can hear it, oh. 
Then we can start turning our turnbuckles to add stretch to the shade. And now for the final results. 